Hi there. How are you? I wanted to tell you guys about, well, I want to tell you about uh, my Dan Dix, a friend of mine who's got a pretty sweet channel called, uh, tell me what it's called, Dan, Weaving Spider channel, YouTube, go to YouTube slash Weaving Spider, and he also has a Facebook channel called Press for Truth, so search that, check him out. Got a great documentary on the Bilderberg Group, the history of Bilderberg from, I don't know, it was Danish hotel, the Bilderberg, is where they had their first meeting, it was like, you know, chaired by... This prince that was like a Nazi, and that's kind of the history of Bilderberg. These people that the Be Bilderberg Steering Commission basically steers the Bilderberg Group into deciding where they're going to spend all their money or what they're going to do with the finances. So Dan went ahead and you know he went to the Bilderberg last year with Alex Jones, like everyone I was, you know, all the big Truth Network fellows were there with their fucking social media interviewing and getting pictures of all the attendees and so there are a bunch of attendees, you know, some of them have tinted windows. I guess, you know, the best thing we can do, it's not about pissing people off, like you don't want to make these people fear for their lives because then they're going to have like armed security and it, and it gets so, you know, they just start gunning people down. So you, you want to be cool, but I think when they, when they see that it's not just, they're not just casually running the show here, it's like they're kind of taking advantage of people. I think they're going to start to see that. Like, they'll invite people in, and the people will go, and there'll be all this security, and it'll be like they've got to hide their face going in. And like, good things being there with social media. So check out Dan's website. Um, I'm currently experimenting with recording my videos on my Logitech and then uploading them, which is so time-consuming compared to just uploading it directly to YouTube. But the quality on these direct uploads is just chunky. I don't know how to... Maybe there's a way to fix it. Uh, I'm going to keep experimenting. I want to do a live stream. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do a live stream. I tried one of those Google Hangouts the other night. Thanks for coming by if you came by. But boy, that's chat because though you could comment on the video stream, you couldn't comment in the chat room where I could see it. So people were talking to me and I was just going on and on like a moron, which is very out of character for me. So have a great night um, and continue on with your peaceful endeavor.